Okay, Leo, I am so sorry. So it's really, really late, but this is a reading for August 2018. Getting used to my setup, starting to do videos in the order of who's viewed it more, may down the line, do it in regards to who likes my videos more, just to make sure that my main audience being catered to um, when things get crazy and I get behind like the way I am right now. Um, so I will get this reading out for you really quick here. Thanks for your guys' patience. Good Lord. I feel like since this other one flied out, I should just put it there, to be honest. Let's see what it is. Okay, advice card for Leo, 2018. Everybody getting like a bunch of little ice cards. What's going on? Okay. Wow, y'all are gonna have to tell me what's going on. Um, so do you have the seven of pentacles? So you could have could have in the past been dealing with an earth sign. So that could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Now with the Seven of Pentacles, this is just showing clearly in the picture with the hand and the plant growing out of it is growth. So um, the only, because the Wheel of Fortune, so the only other earth symbol I see is what's blocking you with the Hierophant in reverse. Um, which is a major arcana. So um, I'm going to definitely get more clarification, but for general purposes and for right now, this could be any type of growth. Um, so it doesn't necessarily have to be materialistic, but with it being pinnacles, it could. Um, but again, with this being a general reading, some type of growth in the past. And then... In the present, we have the Ten of Cups, so you could be also dealing with um, um, a Libra, or I'm sorry, that's an air sign. You could be dealing with um, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Um, so with the Ten of Cups, this is really just being happy, so right now, you're doing good, which is really, really good. I don't even want to, I mean, I'm definitely going to be getting clarification on this. So is that like, and this could be in like pertaining to family as well, see, or a relationship. Um, or even just as simple as your home, like you're just content right now. Okay, so now with the Wheel of Fortune, um, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius um, or this really could be like bad luck or like being stuck in a rut, like maybe you're just not investing a lot in yourself right now. Um, 
So we're getting clarification because, again, this could mean it's a general reading. I want to make sure that I clarify that. Um, so with the higher fit in reverse, you could be dealing with the Taurus. Um, or maybe you're just having troubles with like Because upright, this is like somebody you look up to, which is typically, it's not always like, like you could just be having trouble with people in general. So like whether it be society or it could be um, somebody you look up to, um, it could be authority. Um, like it just, this could just be problems in general. We'll see. And then. We also have temperance in reverse so that you could also be dealing with the Sagittarius, which is very likely because again, this resembles um, Sagittarius as well, um, or like more like expansion and growth, but it's reverse. So it's like, you're not seeing any growth there. If anything is the opposite. Um, so with temperance being in reverse, it's just, it's like chaos. Okay, I don't even wanna, we're gonna, I'm gonna have to get some clarification. Um, Leo, y'all are gonna have to tell me what's going on. So we have with block, um, the advice card or like, again, this is not always an advice because this is an Oracle card. It says fate has blocked this path for you. Um, forces beyond your control intervene. So before I go forward, um, I'm gonna get clarification. But before I go forward, I'm kind of like I I don't want to give any bad messages. These are just the cards that fell out. But I will say, um, I say like you have a minor arcana, a minor arcana, and then we get into this trouble. It's like major arcana. And it's almost like these things would be made easier. Whatever you're going through would be made easier if you didn't fight some type of change that you need to be making in your life. Um, and sometimes change is hard, but I'm going to get clarification because sometimes when it feels like things are blocking you, it's like forcing you basically to change because you didn't change by yourself. <laughs> Basically, but we're gonna find out what's going on. We all one second. Sorry, y'all. I don't even mean to sound like that. I just wish I had... I, I like easier messages that are more... They don't always have to be perfectly fluffy, but I'm just wondering what's going on with y'all. That's all. Um, so we have the Six of Swords upright. So it's like there was growth here. And it's like... This kind of mirrors this card in regards to... Um growing as well it's like you're moving on from something um so you, this could be you like physically moving or metaphorically moving like somehow you moved on um or this could be um an air sign so aquarius gemini or libra and then we also have the hanged man um the hanged man could all um, resemble the um what a pisces you may be dealing with um which honestly well i guess i see a couple of cup cards um 
So you could possibly be dealing with a Pisces. Um, with this being reversed though, um, this could be like you or somebody else being selfish or playing a victim. Like, cause somebody's not trying to like, because like when I see this upright, it's like seeing things to me, when I think about this card, like seeing things from a different perspective, but this is upright. So somebody's not, somebody doesn't care to see it from another perspective. Somebody's just like, again, being selfish. Um, and maybe that's what you needed to do to grow actually. So maybe you had to think about yourself instead of thinking about other people, which helped you move on and grow. Sometimes I'm like, oh my God, all these cards, like how am I going to get this story straight without it being confusing? But yeah, that's what this is. And then to clarify the Ten of Cups, we have the Queen of Wands. So again, this could be a fire, um, fire sign. So this could be you, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Um, now with it being in reverse... I feel like I hate to even because this is like being happy at home but to me this contradicts it because this is like a mother figure or maybe this could be you maybe this is why you're happy in your home because it's like to me I don't know because the queen of wands me like if it was upright is this woman who um like she knows how to control herself like she can be passionate and like she can control she's a strong person but she can control herself like she has that passion but it's not ever like swayed to like some extreme or anything like that but Maybe you're happy right now in the home and you can't control your passion because you are so happy. Because, I mean, that's what I said and that's what the card is and we're clarifying this. So, so either you're dealing with um, um, a fire sign or this is you. Because I wouldn't think this is you being unhappy or anything like that. Because you already have we already have this card here. So this is either the fact that you're over like maybe you're overly passionate and you can't control your feelings that you have to somebody and your your excitement that they're there in your life. Like maybe you're doing too much or Honestly, that's really what I feel like it is, to be honest, because I can't think of any other. Because he yeah, has like not being able to control the way you feel, but I feel like this is you being happy right now. But why is it? So in the future, again, this could be. Mm -hmm. Let me step back. Let's just focus on this card right now. So we have in the Knight of Cups. Um, so again, you could be dealing with a water sign. Or this is somebody bringing you an offer of love. So this is like an opportunity for a new relationship or something like that. I would say... I would say be careful about somebody bringing an offer of love and I don't even want to say it like that because again with the wheel of fortune being in reverse that can sometimes mean bad luck or things getting out of control so if you're already in a relationship right now don't ruin that relationship just because somebody came over here bringing some cup because it's like with the temperance 
card in reverse that's like losing control. That's just a hot mess going on over there. And you having trouble with like people just in general. So that could be like society, somebody you look up to, or an authority figure. Like this is just a hot mess. So for one, like just looking at this reading, I would say if you're in a relationship, like for the few of you that this might be, if you're in a relationship, do not mess it up. Do your best not to mess it up over an offer. If you're happy and you're excited and you're showing all that passion, now hand of fate, hindrance. Or let's say if you're single or something like that and you have a happy home and you're excited about having your stuff together because you've shown growth and then somebody walks in your life and you like them I'm trying to like come up with as many scenarios as possible because let's say this is not bad luck and this is just things getting out of control because maybe you cannot control your excitement and your passion what could block you is not having balance in authority figures or society So I would say mm -hmm. all I'm going to say, because honestly, this is really hard for me because I don't know what's going on in everyone's life. And I'm trying to like decide because everything like the past seems really clear. The present seems pretty general, like either you're in a relationship um, with somebody and or you could even just be content and excited in your whole life. You got you had so much growth and you got so far and you're you have peace in your home and you're overjoyed with excitement that you have everything. Um, you can't even contain your, your happiness or you're in a relationship with somebody and you can't contain how you feel about them. You're just so passionate about them. Um, but then somebody else, it's like somebody else is offering you something. So if you had a relationship here and somebody's offering you something, be careful. Because that could be the bad luck or this could really be causing you issues where things just get crazy. And when fate has blocked this path for you, forces beyond your control intervene, just know, like, don't let that scare you, like, at all. Because sometimes you ever look back and, like, relationships and, like, back when you were with them, for example, you were like, I could never see myself ever being without this person. Like, they are just perfect. Like, I mean, we all probably at least have that person in high school or something like that, right? So we're like, oh, we could never leave this person. And then we reflect on it now or years later and we're like man what was I thinking like thank god that was over like you see them now and you're like oh not my type like that would have been bad or you know whatever the case may be and that's not always the case sometimes we had good experiences in our past but I'm just saying I think we all at least have that one person at one point in our life um where it's like sometimes things are blocked and it sucks at the time and you don't understand and it feels like man this really sucks right now like it really really sucks but when you reflect on that back of years like if you reflect that on that going um like a few years back good lord i cannot speak if it's like few for um few years from now and you reflect back on that situation you'll be like dang thank god this happened because i wouldn't even be here if x y and z happened so like when i see this um 
that fate has blocked the path for you, forces beyond your control intervene. Um, and when I look at this, I almost really just think about the universe with all these symbols of the zodiac and um, the planets and stuff. And then when I think about fate, I'm just like, okay, this is oh, that light. This is what it's meant to be. So don't. I actually kind of like those cards. I sometimes you know things need to be blocked. Like, I mean, shoot, we even got block buttons on our social media now. Like. I mean, but the universe has been blocking stuff for years for us, and it's for a purpose. So, um, yeah, I think I just rambled on a lot because I'm just like trying to look at this, and it looks really negative. And I don't want you to think the wheel of fortune, like being, and then like what's blocking you, because really, like your readings pretty much get to me as far as I see, except for what's blocking you. So it's just like, okay, well, if what's blocking you is imbalance and like authority figures and stuff like that find a way like especially if it hasn't happened yet think about okay if i deal with something hard how am i going to handle it how am i, I going to get that balance like having a plan like what brings you back down to earth what keeps you out of the mess like kind of thinking about it that way i guess like try to avoid that and and with those being major arcanas maybe you can't avoid it but just being able to handle it We'll make it because sometimes we go through hard things regardless but how can we make those hard things that we go through easier basically yes okay that sounds so much better because i was kind of nervous with the wheel of fortune um reverse that makes me nervous sometimes but i would just be careful of a love offer is all just be careful of a love offer or maybe just take your time. Maybe try not to get too excited and whatnot. But if you have a relationship, definitely don't. I would say don't entertain that. But um, that is your reading for August 2018. And good luck with everything. See you next month, Leah.